Every state that borders Illinois has or could soon have restrictions on abortion. The striking down of Roe v. Wade will create a huge demand on abortion services in Illinois. So the question among many, will providers be ready? CBS 2's Chris Ty looked into that question today. He joins us now live with more on what he's found. Chris? That's right, Joe and Marie, the race is on to fill positions inside Planned Parenthood of Illinois from clinical workers to clerical workers. This is a critical time because they're expecting tens of thousands of women from around the Midwest to come to Illinois over the next year for these kind of services. As the land of Lincoln, in a very real way, becomes the Midwest's land of abortion access. Due to the recent Supreme Court decision limiting access to abortion, we are experiencing unusually high call volumes. Long wait times and long journeys ahead for thousands of women needing abortions in states bordering Illinois. Wisconsin protests center on the 1849 state law still on the books that makes abortion a felony. When Wisconsin women use this online abortion finder to help find care, it directs them out of state. All of it poised to create a run on Illinois resources. Do you have the staff, the manpower, the facilities, the equipment to handle what's coming? We are working on it. We definitely have the facilities. Dr. Amy Whitaker, the chief medical officer for Planned Parenthood of Illinois, points to two facilities. It's not a coincidence their Waukegan facility, built two years ago, is eight miles from the Wisconsin border, and their Flossmoor facility is 12 miles from the Indiana border. In Indiana, abortion is still legal, but the General Assembly convenes next week for an emergency session and is likely to change the law. How are you bracing for what is about to come. We have been preparing for this moment for a long time and we are working very hard to meet the increased demand. Planned Parenthood estimates 30,000 additional patients could travel to Illinois for abortions in the next year. And I expect us to be able to rapidly and very efficiently increase access to care to be able to take care of the patients from the surrounding states. So there's going to be huge demand for workers here in Illinois, just as the need for workers in Indiana and Wisconsin plummets. But this isn't as simple as, hey, let's bring folks in from Wisconsin and in from Indiana. These are jobs that require licensing and credentialing. Joe and Marie, that kind of work takes weeks or months to clear to get an OK. And of course, we'll keep an eye on how that staffing evolves here in the coming weeks and months. Live in the Loop, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Chris.